Last one for you, Peter King. Uh, a team is, you know, the old Parcells axiom: you are what you are. And uh, at nine and three, uh, you are a nine and three team. And in a vacuum, let's not look at the history, uh, obviously, but in this vacuum, when you've got a quarterback not making any mistakes, uh, five straight games of that interception, and you've got a two-headed monster at running back behind an offensive line that yeah. Bill Callahan is coaching and is totally remade, and a defensive player of the year candidate and a defense that is balling out, and a head coach that is clearly uh, getting bought what he is selling, you, you've you got an outstanding football team. Are the wh wh Where do you term the Cleveland Browns right now? Where do you place Here's them? Here's the thing with the Browns. Look, the Browns yesterday, in my opinion, basically made the playoffs. So now the whole issue is uh, the top of the AFC obviously has two teams at the very top. And again – not I'm not trying to get ahead of anything right now, but the biggest question about the Browns is are they in position to be able to beat Pittsburgh and Kansas City on the road within eight days? That's the big question, you know. And and look, I think it's it's easy for us to sit here and say, well, you know, just take it take it in stages. If they could win one playoff game this year, mm -hmm. if they could win, let's say at Indy or or at Tennessee or or you know whatever at Buffalo, let's say who knows. But if they could win one playoff game, that is a tremendous accomplishment, and it is, it is. But I'm trying to look ahead. I and again, I'm not saying it's easy to win a playoff game, but Cleveland is playing so well right now and played so well yesterday other than the second half on defense, um, that you're starting to say, is it possible that they could win more than one playoff game in January? It's possible, but I still think Pittsburgh and, and Kansas City and the AFC right now are cut, are a cut above. I don't know. Uh, we said the same thing about Tennessee last year, and they, they won and done Tom Brady and then went uh -huh. ahead and won and done Lamar Jackson. And what did Tennessee no have? No question. They had a quarterback who didn't make mistakes and a running game that was very difficult and a defense that was opportunistic, and the offense could go up top when they needed to off a play-action game that was respected because of the running game. That, to me, sounds like the Cleveland Browns, Peter. You're right, but just remember, just remember, Six seeds like Tennessee are rare. Yeah. And just because it happened in 2019, it doesn't mean that it's going to happen this year. But you you know what? If Baker Mayfield throws downfield with the accuracy that he did mm -hmm. yesterday, yep. and if he doesn't turn it over, the Browns can win any game they play. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.